The PSLS confirmed the sale of Bloemfontein Celtic with the club to be renamed the Royal AM just days before the start of the 2021-2022 DSTV Premiership campaign. Welcome to Football Navigator where you get all your latest sporting content. PSL chairman Ivan Kozai has confirmed that Bloemfontein Celtic has been sold to Royal AM in accordance with Article 14 of the National Soccer League Handbook. Dr. Ivan Koza said that there is a very important issue that we discussed and the future financial stability of a lot of stakeholders is at stake. The main point of this transition must be seamless because there are a lot of stakeholders affected by this transition. We want to protect the history of the club, but the issue of sustainability is a problem. Regardless of our discomfort when we deal with transition sometimes, we must make sure we are doing the right thing. We must consider two things, the issue of the insolvency of the club and the risk of insolvency. If somebody says, I cannot afford it anymore, what do you do? As a league, we have an obligation that the league must start with 16 teams. We've got commitments with sponsors, TV, ETC. We don't have too many in our football with deep pockets. That's why it almost took us three days to discuss this matter. It is also very important that the players and other employees must be protected. In a case of insolvency, people lose their jobs. The controversial transition will see Royal AM take ownership of Celtic's PSL status and relocate the club from Free State to KwaZulu-Natal, while the Royal AM's Glad Africa Championship status has been acquired by Chakuma Chamazivandir.